let us begin our lecture on what is natural language processing nlp uh, basically in this video i will introduce you with the nlp what is ex what exactly the nlp and how it uh, you know we we work on that but on the letters in the next stage i will give you a uh, how you can process a natural language on a machine learning it it will be covered in the next video so i'll request you to watch the both videos this is a primary video which is basically deal with the understanding of natural language processing so let us start so the the word what is what is what is uh, natural language processing the process of computer analysis of input provided in a human language means it is whatever we speak and the conversion of it this input into a usable form of representation so natural lang language processing is nothing but as the name suggested it is a processing of the natural language uh, means whatsoever we speak we have to process it and convert it into the computer generation program so the field of nlp is primarily concerned with getting computers to perform useful and interesting tasks with the human languages so you know it's a very big problem if uh, we, uh, in in india in not only in india but across the world there are the several languages so if we move from so the process of the computer analysis means nlp uh, in, uh, yeah i am telling about in across the world there are several languages are uh, you know speak, spoken so it is very difficult if you mobilize from one country to another country or from one community to another community to understand their language is really a big problem so we can find its solution with the help of the machine learning and with the help of the natural language processing the field of nlp is primarily concerned with getting into computer so with the help of computer and the machine we want to interpret one kind of language into the another this is the primary concern the field of nlp is secondarily concerned with helping us come up a better understanding of the human language also since see there are sometimes there is a double meaning of a single sentence so that uh, since in the machine if you put something it can understand whatsoever easy to uh, you know um, understand by the machine but some it is not always be the case so to distinguish between the double meaning sentence you nlp is the second concern by which a machine can understand the language not only not only uh, accurately but meaningful uh, meaningful understanding of the language must be needed so move towards the next what are the different forms of natural languages the input and output of the nlp system can be written text and the speech means in natural language processing system you may have a written text or a speech it means you can speak to the machine and it get uh, then processed so we will mostly concern with the written text in this not speech so to process written text we need lexical syntactic semantic knowledge about the language what is this we will cover it in the later in this uh, lecture discourse information real world knowledge also this will be covered in the later stage to process spoken language we need everything required to process written text plus the challenges of the speech recognition and the speech synthesis so this is a very important point the process spoken language we need everything required means like how we speak how the voice came out how we use the different grammatical or you know the way the sentence is pronounced or everything so it must be taken care while speech recognition and speech synthesis this is the main point that is discussed here so move towards the next component of nlp natural language understanding mapping of the given input of the natural language into the useful represent these are the different level of analysis required one is morphological analysis synthetic semantic and discourse we will cover these all in detail natural language generation see in component basically we have to understand there are two things one is to understand and another thing is generation understanding means the whatsoever we speak the how the machine can understand it and secondly with if we ask some question to the machine how the machine get respond to it it means the natural language generation so or how uh, one uh, the speak in if the some sentences speak in hindi how it can be converted into chinese with the exact meaning 
this is the important natural language generation that is the meaning of natural language generation a natural language understanding means uh, uh, like a person speaks some sentence to the machine then the machi machine must understand what exactly he want to convey and uh, in natural language generation how the same can be you know translated into the another language that is covered by the natural language generation so nl understanding this is very important point language understanding is easier is much harder you know by uh, rather than the natural language generation still both of them are hard but still we may say the understanding is much harder if you understand if the machine is able to understand the language easy uh, or accurately then it definitely it can generate it in accurately into the another form so we'll move next why nl understanding is hard this is again a very important topic and debatable topic natural language is extremely rich in form of the structures and the very ambiguous how to represent meaning which structures map to which meaning structure this is very important so so uh, one input can mean many different things that i am already tell you basically a single sentence can have a different meanings ambiguity can be at the different levels so the first level is lexical level that is a word level ambiguity different meaning of words one word have a you know have a different meaning so how the machine can judge it it is very difficult second one is synthetic ambiguity different ways of parse the sentence the sentence have the different you know structure or they can represented in the different ways so this is an another ambiguity Inter interpreting the partial information how to interpret uh, pronounce that is again a very very big problem in natural language contextual information context of the sentence yes sometimes we use some sentence in a different context so context must have to be you know understand by the machine if we, if the machine be a more accurate and meaningful so many inputs can mean the same thing and interaction among components of the input is not clear so natural language understanding is hard because of these ambiguities at the different levels one is word level sentence level contextual level interpreting level so these are the very important and some you may say the big hurdles in uh, to understand the natural language so move forward now these are the certain terms that i i i request you all to just understand this if you want to be a uh, get an complete information about the nlp you must have an understanding of these terms first one is phonology concerns how words are related to the sounds that realize them means how you uh, you pronounce the words if some like somebody speak this word as a da and somebody speak this as a di so how the sounds can be pronounced this is comes under this uh, term that is what we call phonology and next one is morphology concern how words are constructed from more basic meaning units called for morphemes morphemes a morphemes is a primitive unit of the meaning in a language so morphology is a, another concern next one is syntax concern how can be put together to form correct sentence and determine word structure role each word play in the sentence basically syntax means if uh, the way you present your sentence like uh, there is a, there are certain rules to form a sentence so whether you whether you follow all the rules in a proper way or not that comes under syntax then come towards a sem semantics concerns what words mean and how these meaning combine in a sentence to form sentence meaning so this is what we call semantic so this is very important from the exam point of view also some uh, they may be asked you phonology morphology syntax and semantic so move forward there are three more terms that is pragmatics discourse and word knowledge one is pragmatic concern how sentences are used in different situations like sometimes we use the same word in the different situation they have different meaning with the different tones so that comes under pragmatics discourse concern how immediately preceding sentence is that that is very important if uh, we are talking about uh, talking about certain you know topic with somebody else so what discourse means how your sentence can connect it sometimes we listen to a you know uh, we break the we are not continuously listening but uh, once we start listening we understand because that is 
the uh, immediately the next sentence is connected with the previous sentence so this comes under discourse next one is world knowledge include general knowledge about the world what each language uses must know about the others beliefs and goals that comes out comes under world knowledge so this is again a very important term that everybody should have to know this see this is an ambiguity i made her duck if i am saying i made her duck how many different interpretation does this sentence have i request you all to just comment in the comment box what are the reasons for the ambiguity the categories of the knowledge of uh, of language can be thought of as ambiguity resolving components and how can each ambiguous piece be resolved does speech input make a sentence even more ambiguous yes so let us see some interpretation that i made her duck means i cooked duck for her another one is i cooked duck belonging to her i created a toy duck which she owns i caused her to quickly lower her head or body i used magic and turned into a duck so these are the some interpretation of the same sentence this makes the natural language processing difficult so duck is the morphological and synthetic synth synthetically ambiguous noun or verb her means her is synthetically ambiguous make me make is also semant semantically ambiguous and make is synthetically ambiguous so the total ambiguity here is in this sentence is very high so the machine must be understand you know ambiguity of the uh, uh, present in the given sentence hope you understand this so how to resolve the ambiguities this is an again uh, important term we will introduce models and algorithms to to resolve these kind of ambiguities at the different levels one is part of speech tagging word sentence dis disambiguation lexical disambiguation and synthetic ambiguity for to resolve these ambiguities like part of speech deciding whether duck is a verb or noun word sense deciding whether make it create or cook lexical resolution of part of speech word sentence ambiguity into two kinds of lexical disambiguation and synthetic ambiguity her duck is an example of synthetic ambiguity or can be addressed by the probabilistic parsing so resolve ambiguities we can resolve it by making this kind of tree uh this is subject uh, noun pronoun verb here the s stands for sentence np stands for noun phrase vp stands for verb phrase and and similarly ad for adjective phrase so verb noun phrase noun subject by using this we can construct this parse tree and with the help of this parse tree we can resolve this sentence like i is Uh, noun phrase and verb phrase is in verb phrase there is a verb there is a verb called that is made and in np there is a determiner that is her and n is duck so by resolve by parse tree we can resolve this sentence and uh, then represent in in with the help of nlp so models to represent linguistic knowledge there are several you know techniques by which we can model it and i'll i'll try to you know give an uh, one practical on based on this where i can show you how we can use the state machine formal rule systems logistic based formalism and models of uncertainty by bayesian probability i can show you how you can check or mod uh, do the nlp in upcoming videos so nlp as interdisciplinary field that is important that is used in various it can be used not only in linguistic but also in computer science engineering psychology philosophy in every you know aspect where so ever the language is concerned it is used and nlp is used because it is an interdisciplinary field anybody can you know start working on this this is a promise, uh, promising promising uh, research area where you can start your research for the future so some buzz buzzword that is nlp natural language processing cl com, computational linguistic sp speech recognition human language technology natural language engineering so these are certain areas where you can start working and these are new and you can you know do more innovative uh, competition in these areas and can do your phd also or masters also in this area so move to the next as some nlp applications machine translation information retrieval query answering 
making chat box report generation and uh, spell checking plagiarism checking grammar checking there are so many application of nlp and uh, you know we are not so good in this area still now the most of the researches are going on so i want uh, and request you all to do some machine learning project on nlp also i'll give you a brief introduction in the next video how this nlp can be used for doing machine learning so this is a brief history i want to skip this now the natural language understanding this is very important see we have a word we have a morphological analysis morphological analysis means you have to convert this word and uh, get the meaning then synthetic analysis then semantic analysis and then discourser process processing this is a this is how the natural language processing is uh, has been done on machine learning i'll give the experiment one example in the next video so we'll do uh, natural language generation yes it, it can be done with the same process but in the opposite way so first one is uh, making representation this is important and uh, then utterance planning then meaning representation of the sentence then synthetic structure of the sentence in the lexical choices then sentence generation and then morphological generation it means the words generation so this is how the natural language uh, is generated and here this is a process of how the natural language understanding so in the exam this question may be asked how the natural language is understand this is the way how it is understanding first of all morphological analysis then synthetic then semantic and discourser i'll give you a practical way or you can visualize this thing how we can do it on our words so wait for the next video for that so this is the next language generation now lexical processing now the purpose of the lexical processing is to determine the meaning of individual word that i already tell you the basic method is to look look up in the database of the meanings we have a dictionary or directory already created where we uh, go and check the meaning of the all the words that we are used similarly a sim synthetic processing is a parsing converting a flat input sentence into the hierarchical structure and segregated into the grammar and the noun and pronoun everything that is what we call synthetic processing next is semantic analysis analyzing meaning to the structure how it is connected means there is a proper rule there is a verb then uh, and there is a noun then verb then helping verb how the sentence is created this is comes under the semantic analysis then knowledge representation for the nlp which knowledge represent presentation will be used depends upon the uh, machine translation database query system so requires the choice of representational framework as well as the specifying specific meaning vocabulary so knowledge representation of uh, for nlp must be you know it uh, must have it must be represented in a convenient way so that machine can understand it better so this can be done with the help of uh, fol that is predicate or propositional logic that we already learned in the last video and the also the frame representation semantic these are the ways how the knowledge get be represented for the nlp so uh, discourser i already told you discourser are the collection of the current sentences nor arbitrary discoursers have also a hierarchical structure so uh next one is natural language generation that all this already we covered so and machine translation so i think this is enough for this lecture we will cover a practical aspect of nlp how nlp can be done using practically uh, with machine learning we will i will come soon with the video on which the natural language processing has been done with the machine with the help of machine learning where you can have an complete understanding of you know these steps uh, that i am talking about um, these steps that is morphology morphological analysis synthetic semantic and discourses so hope you understand this video and uh, hope you like this video also so i'll come back with a new video with a new concept till then stay tuned thank you bye bye